Hello, this is Julia Whitup, and today we have with us Austin Wells. She's the author of the book um, Soul Conversations and a Shaman. So how did you get inspired to become a shaman? Well, Julie, thank you. Julia, thank you so much for having me today. Um, I literally was working as a medium and the spirit world whispered it to me. And then I started telling people I was going to study shamanism without having any idea what that meant. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that sounds reasonable, <laughs> actually. <laughs> and how did you study that? I went to a shaman school for about four years and then worked with different people that were connected with indigenous medicine uh -huh. to brought my awareness of different ways that cultures have understood spirit in the natural world. And which school did, which uh, shaman school did you go to? I went to the Four Winds and Four I took winds. every single class that they have, master level, um, Munaiki, everything. It was okay. amazing. Okay. And then I also, I also had the honor of working with uh, a number of the shamans from Peru as well. So, and in ceremony, which is an extraordinary gift and an honor. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. Well, so what are you doing nowadays? So I work full time as a medium and a medium, of course, is one that connects with the spirit world. The indigenous cultures or the shamans really were the indigenous mediums. So mm -hmm. I kind of, I kind of did everything, I guess you could say bass backwards. <laughs> <laughs> I followed the somewhat Judeo-Christian idea of spirit being above. Mm -hmm. And so with mediumship and with people pursuing the spirit world, they oftentimes think of it outside of themselves. The beauty of studying shamanism and the return that it gave me was to find spirit within the natural world. And within yourself, right? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we want for people to Absolutely. get. Realize Absolutely. that they can have direct revelation. Yes, I think I think it's such an amazing mechanism because it allows you to find animals and nature and the seasons and everything that's around you as an invitation to explore your soul it's opened my eyes to the possibilities of myself and also the flexibility of time because i could always perceive when souls in the spirit world were bringing through messages they oftentimes would talk about things out of context so they would give a message and it would refer to something in the future and i always wondered like how do they know that how do they have that awareness yeah. when you when you study shamanism and you also combine it as i did with remote viewing but you get that idea of the timelessness of the universe and the timelessness of perceiving energy first instead of matter first then you mm -hmm. get such a different way of seeing the world and of understanding the possibilities of us and not the probabilities of us right okay wow and tell us a little bit about your book, Soul Conversations. I would love to tell you about my book. Here, I'll show you the cover. Okay. I'm really excited by it. So that's my, that's my book. It's called Soul Conversations. A medium reveals how to cultivate your intuition, heal your heart, and connect with the divine. So it is, and I'm really honored because my publishers were, uh, their, the name is New Harbinger, and they work under Reveal Press as the spiritual wing of New Harbinger. Okay. But the book, the book explores how, as a soul, you can access the universe within yourself. And they're, I'm happy to say that they have listed the book in the shaman category as well on Amazon. So I'm actually, I think I'm like number seven today um, as sure. far as New Go. so that's good news yeah that is good news <laughs> okay and what can you tell us your most dramatic story that would be interesting I would love to I going back to that idea of 
really always feeling as a medium that when I was connecting to the spirit world, I was going outside of the natural world. I was studying shamanism and I'd started my training with an advanced class, which I loved. It was tools and techniques for extractions. And we were really getting into some meaty things that put so much in perspective from having dealt with the spirit world for so long. Mm -hmm. Then my next class <clears throat> was a beginning class and I was really frustrated because I felt like I'd been given my shamanic wings and then they were kind of taken back and I had to put on baby shoes again. <laughs> Being, being a Gemini and having an active imagination and curiosity, I so desperately wanted to just get to the big stuff right away, but I needed to learn the basics, thank goodness. So I was frustrated and my guide at the time, my mentor at the time, could tell that this was something that was a, what I call a spiritunity, which is a spiritual opportunity. So she told me to take my frustrations out and put it on the earth. Mm -hmm. So I did essentially a sand painting and I, and I was trying to match the frustration and the discomfort and the ugliness I was feeling. And I was trying to put that into the space on the earth. And no matter how I tried to, I was actually poking at the earth and I was trying to break up leaves and the thing, and it really gets me <laughs> mm -hmm. very emotional is the fact is I couldn't make nature mirror the lack of beauty I could witness within myself, which wow. was the first time I realized how much nature is a beautiful, beautiful illustration that we are truly made of spirit. We are gorgeous. We emanate beauty in everything we do and even what we perceive as something that is uncomfortable or ugly, I suppose, um, is, is absolutely an illusion. And so I... <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. I fell, I literally fell upon the earth and I, I just said to Mother Nature, thank you so much. You've, you've given me something of such value that I can't, I can't explain the gift. And it was at that point I knew that the shamanic world had a complete unfoldment for me. So since then, and it was funny at that point in my, in my mediumship, I really wasn't talking with animals. I was predominantly dealing with human beings in the spirit world. But after I started journeying with animals and doing those kind of things, what ended up happening was the animal kingdom gained my trust or extended their love to me. And then I started bringing through animals during readings as well, um, assisting people in their spiritual journey. So that, wow. that experience changed, it really changed me for the best because um, I deal with people who are constantly speaking of their personal limitations. Mm -hmm. And to use, to use nature as a mirror for the profundity and the beauty within us is, um, it's one thing to talk about it. It's another thing to have a direct relationship and an experience that is such a soulful one that it takes you beyond words, which to me always knows when, it, I always know when a person's in their soul, when words can't quite capture the fullness of the experience. Yeah, yeah. That's the yeah. problem with words. <laughs> yes, it is. I know they're limiting those, those things, but that's, you know, that's the beauty of feeling and of the connection we have to each other is that it transcends the ability we have to communicate because it's such a profound experience. So I think we need that aspect of us that communicates, but also that part of us that feels because the feeling is really what connects us to everybody. Yeah. Wow. Okay. And tell us how, if somebody wants to get a hold of you, how can they get a hold of you? Okay. Um, my name is Austin Wells, and that's A U S T Y N W E L L S. I have a website. Um, so you can find me there. I, my main social media channels are Facebook, YouTube. Uh, Twitter and I love Instagram. Okay. So I try every month to create a spiritual focus 
and then pull it into all of my social media. I train intuitives and mediums. I also love to just work with people, exposing them to the beauty of their soul, which is the hope of the mm -hmm. book, Small Conversations. So it's a book that isn't about so much my personal journey, because I love the books by mediums that are out there that represent that conversation. I wanted to offer a conversation where people could be in conversation with their own soul. Nice, thank you. Thanks You're for welcome. being on the show today. Most definitely, Julia. Thank you so much for having me.